Right over the bed, over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. probably at a all-time high of uh, places that I've been and just personalities and guys that are willing to really try to figure it out in the best way possible. And then obviously on the court, we're continuing to be a work in progress. We know it's still early, but we have the right personalities and the right identity of individuals who want to make it work in the, in the best way possible. Um, so, it, I mean, you know, chemistry, if you were to look at this group, I mean, every day that I coming to work it's a fun day and every opportunity to be around this type of character of, of men has been a I feel like he one of those players that's a good solid player to have on your team but when you got good players around you it's like you have to find your way you tend to struggle because you're part of a team that can go far in the playoffs but at the same time you have to find your footing because you got a team full of good players. Like they had Al Horford. They had uh Embiid. They had Simmons. They have uh Richardson. You know, it's just like when you have a good start of five, and then you got three good players on your team, you gotta find a way you fit in. You gotta find out who can sacrifice. You gotta figure out where to take your shots. You gotta, you just gotta find a whole lot of things. That's why I feel like he up and down this year. He gonna pick it up after a while. You see what he said? He just trying to figure out the chemistry. That's why he doing things off the court, so they could be able to transition that on the court. Because you gotta find the footing. You gotta get your feet wet. It's just like the sisters have a solid team, but they all have to figure out certain things. With this team. That's why you see MB scoring went down. That's why you see Simmons scoring went down for 18. That's why you see Simmons, I mean, you see MB for 28 to 21 because this team got so much staying that's new and they have to figure that out. MB had to figure out how to play with Horford. He have a good big man to go side with him. They both could spread the floor, but they all had to figure out. How to play off for one another. Um, really impressive of a group. When you look at, I mean, I know the starting unit, you, you guys really haven't played that much time together yeah, on one yeah. thing or another, but when you look at, like, what you are most encouraged by through the first, you know, 15, 14 games of the season, what is, what's the thing you look at and that you feel best about when you think about the championship aspirations for your group? I would say our fight. I mean, we've played in, numerous games now where we've been down double digits and been able to rally a run and come back and um so I would just say our fight in, in being able to be able to withstand a run and, and really combat that. So I think that shows a lot of the type of team we are and I think a lot of that go goes along a lot of stuff that we do off the court as a team. Uh, like they have a championship team. They go have bumping the rolls. They haven't been playing Together that long. So the chemistry going to be up and down with it. Once everything starts gelling together, there's going to be a dominant team. It's just every day had to play itself out. They know they had to start five to win the championship, but they all got to bring their chemistry together. They take time for that. The personalities of guys knowing one another, so... We've had a we got a really tight group here, and that a group that really wants to to win and win big. You turned down an extension yeah. that at the time looked like, oh, hey, you know, that's great money, and yeah. well, it paid off for you big time. Yeah. Right? I mean, how how satisfying, how gratifying was that for you, for your dad, to know like, hey, we're be you're betting on yourself, yeah. and for it to pay off the way that it did. Yeah, that, I mean, that's uh, for me in 
making that decision, obviously it comes with a lot of faith and um, I've been blessed to be in a position to be able to, to reap the benefits of um, betting on yourself and, and turn down a deal and be able to be here in this situation. But ultimately it came down to me. That year he was playing with the Clippers. He was on the verge of being an all-star. With that team, he was free to do what he want. He was their best player at that time. That's why he almost had a chance to be an all-star for the first time. But he bet on himself. He says, since I'm all having a type of all-star season, I want to bet on myself. I believe I'm worth more. It, it, it paid off. When, um, when he was having that type of season with the Clippers. You could bet on yourself because he was their best player when the Clippers, uh, he was with the Clippers. And once he bet on himself, it turned out to be the best move for him. He got a big contract from the Sixers. I wanted to decide, like, essentially where I wanted to be and be able to take hold of an element of be able to be a free agent and uh, choose my destination, and that was to be here. Um, so, yeah, it feels great to bet on yourself and, and reap the rewards. And now with that is going out and playing and, and bringing the city a championship. Well, it was a big hoopla the other day with Ben hitting his first three, right? Yeah. Well, what kind of things do you guys say to him as teammates about uh, shooting? I mean, well, it was kind of, it, it isn't too ironic. I mean, um, the day before, we, we were all sitting down talking, and I basically had told him, just in his own career, the step that he had taken to be a three-point shooter and how, like, he didn't really feel the... Um, he didn't feel the love from other guys and knowing that he wanted to shoot that ball. And, like, I was just basically telling him, look, like, we all have your back here. Like, we want you to shoot and we want you to be okay with the earth. Because they, they got two new players on their team. Riches and Horford. Horford could scratch the floor for you. So you don't have to worry about the lame man clogged up. Richardson, good defender. Don't worry about scoring that much, but he will give you some, some points from time to time. So you have to get chemistry with them two. The other three had chemistry already. When you add on two new players, the chemistry got to get all the way better. So, and, um, you know, so, you know, it's funny, like, the next day he shoots the three and makes it. It's like, you know, so I think, like, things like that go a long way. And I think that little bit of encouragement that Al gave him was a big, like, an opening for, for Ben to be able to say, okay, look, I can shoot the shot knowing my teammates have my back. And I think we've all been able to embrace that th thus far this whole year, not only for him, but other guys in different positions. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube.